welcome to my channel i'm bianca janelle i make videos on lifestyle i do skincare videos makeup tutorials but today i have a hair tutorial for you guys on this look right here today i am testing out and reviewing the Turbex 3 tenth inch curling wand i love the way that my hair turned out i think it's super volumized i love that it's shiny and bouncy just totally something different than i have in my collection so if you guys want to see how i got this look then please keep watching So like I said in the intro, today we are going over the Trivix 3 tenth inch thin curling iron. I'm super excited to go over this. I don't have anything like this in my collection, so I'm super excited to review and test this out for you guys. But before we start curling our hair, I wanted to go over a couple of the details. So one, it does go up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, so there is a temperature range from 250 degrees to 450 so what I usually do is I start on one of the lowest settings and I see how my hair can handle it, handle it. and if it can handle the heat then I crank up the heat a bit. Um, so I like that you can do a different range. It does switch itself off after 60 minutes from the beginning so that's really good. <laughs> um, I know some of us leave our curling iron sometimes very dangerous but it does shut off automatically. And I love that it heats up in 30 seconds. That's super quick so as soon as we plug it in we'll be able to get started. So those are just a couple of details that I want to go over with you guys. So let's go ahead and open it. I'm super excited to test this out. Like I said, I don't have a curling wand like this in my collection, especially something this thin. So I'm just excited for like a new style, a new curl. So it does come with a glove. So just to be able to protect yourself. And this is what the wand looks like. I think it's so cute. It's super thin. So as soon as I plug it in, the start button is right here. So you just have to press it for the range. So it starts off at 250. So I'm going to start mine off at 395 because I know my hair can handle it. But I say if you're not sure what your hair can handle, then start off on a very low setting. Before using any heat tools, I always use um, a heat protectant. So right now I'm just using the Chi Iron Guard. So usually when I'm doing my hair, I section it off in three sections just because I do have a lot of hair. But to start off, I do want to just show you guys how to use the curling iron. And then we'll go step by step. And at the end, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I would style my hair. So right here, I wanted to show you real quick. You can see that it's heating up. It's at 370, 81, 86. So it's already going up in heat. So it should be ready right now. Oh, perfect. So what you're going to do is you're going to just grab a thin section of hair. You're going to hold the curling iron or the curling wand down and wrap your hair around the wand. You're going to want to leave it on for about five seconds. So I take five long seconds. And there's the curl. That's super cool. Like I said, I don't have anything like this in my collection. I love it. I think it's just something totally different from what I have. So I'm super excited to do the rest of my hair. So let me just go over another section with you guys. And then we'll get to styling my whole head. So again, hold it for about five seconds. And then you're going to release. And there's the curl. Super cute, right? So let's go ahead and section off our hair. I find that this is the easiest way to curl your hair. So I'm gonna just start off with the bottom section. And you can see I have straight hair normally and it really curls my hair so i like that and one of my favorite parts is that it heats up in about like 30 seconds so it's just super fast and easy to use i definitely like that okay so just grab a section of hair and wrap it around the barrel
All right, right there, I feel like I grabbed a little bit too big of a section, so I'm just gonna release a little bit of hair make the section smaller because the thing is if you wrap too much hair around the barrel your hair will have a different curl to it so you don't want to get a thin section of hair And then release also what I do with my curls I don't like all my curls to turn the same way because what happens with my hair at least is that it ends up being like one big swirl because all the curls are going in different direction or going in the same direction so what I like to do is alternate my curls so I was moving back on those curls so for this piece right here okay let me bring it up in two I'm gonna go forward with it Again, this is just to alternate the curl. Oops. Again, this is just to alternate the curl. So you can see I'm taking thin sections of hair and I'm just wrapping it around the barrel and I'm holding for about five seconds. Be really careful with these little sections by your ear and you don't want to burn yourself. So now you can see the tight curls right there. Like I said, I don't have anything like this in my collection so I'm super excited to see how it's going to turn out. So, I'm not gonna bore you guys I'm gonna go ahead and curl this piece and then I'll check in with you guys after okay so I finished curling the bottom section of my hair so I'm just going to set it with some hairspray I'm not gonna style or pull on the curls just yet I'm just going to leave them like this just so you guys can see what it looks like so you can see it just gives these really pretty curls very thin it's just very it's something very different now we're going to grab the second section of our hair Again, so just grab a thin section of hair and you're just going to wrap it on the barrel. And again, don't forget to do alternating curls so that way just all the curls don't end up on, you know, one side. Okay, so I'm just going to go like, okay, so I'm just going to go through the second section of my hair and I'll check back in with you guys after. Okay, so I've finished both sides now. You can see it's a very curly, very bouncy. And I love that it's not frizzy. It's a very shiny still, very pretty. So again, I'm just going to set this section now with hairspray. Okay, so again, for the last section, I'm just taking small pieces of hair. And I love how fast it is because it's just so easy to heat up and again, Putting your hair around the barrel is really fast and you only have to hold it for about five seconds. So I'm getting through my hair pretty quickly. And then it seems like the smaller the section of hair is, the more bouncy and more curly your hair will be. Also what I like about this curling iron is that it's just, and also what I like about this curling one is that it's just super easy to go back in there and fix any pieces that you need, that you feel need fixing. So now I just need to, I just need to finish this front section okay, guys this is what it's looking like it's super pretty right super different so let me go ahead and finish this side and then I'll come back and show you guys how I would style my hair okay I just finished curling all my hair it's so curly so bouncy it's still super shiny you can see it's created these really beautiful curls so again I'm going to set everything So I just wanted to show you what, so I just want to show you how my hair would look with it curled before even styling it. You can still totally go out like this. I love the curls. I mean, my hair is straight and it got my hair to be 
this curly eye love that i also think it's perfect for anyone who actually does have curly hair as well because it's easy to get back in there and kind of fix some of the curls if needed but i love the way it turned out it's just so bouncy <laughs> i like it so now i want to show you how i would go ahead and style it okay so like i said i would totally just wear it out like this i think this is very cute or I just want to try a different hairstyle with it again because I've never had a tool like this. So I just kind of want to play with my hair. So I do have three clips right here. These are like these little cute clips. So I think it would be really cool to make sure that we show off our pretty faces. I'm going to put my hair back a bit. So what I'm thinking I want to do is I think I want to do like three sections of my hair. And that way the rest of my hair is very curly and volumized. I think that would be really pretty. So what I'm going to do is take the middle section of my hair I just grabbed the middle section of my hair I'm going to twist it and then I'm going to place it with a clip then what I'm going to do is pin these two sides up so I'm going to take a second section of my hair and don't worry about the curls because we can go back in and touch them up if needed to be So again, twist it. And we're going to want to twist it because we do have curls. So we kind of just want to add to that. So twist it back and clip it. And you're going to want to make sure that it's in line with the other clip. Now let's take a section of this head. Now let's take a section of this hair right here. So again, we twisted it back and clip it. And we're just going to make sure that all the clips are in line with each other. I love that. I think that is so fun. I think it's totally different. I like that our hair is pulled from our faces so we can show off our pretty faces. And yet our hair still has so much volume. I think it's very pretty. I really love the way that this turned out. And like I said earlier, I don't have anything like this in my collection. I really enjoyed using this. It's just something totally different, totally different way to style our hair. I really like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave Trivix's info down below for you guys. I'm going to leave our Instagram and where you can go ahead and purchase this curling iron. And if you guys like these videos of me testing out new hair tools or products, leave it in the comments down below. I want to know what you guys want to see next. And if you like this video, well, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.